Hey, welcome back to the DC Fall Open here at the National Go Center here in Washington, DC. Chris Garlock here, and uh, with us again is Michael Redman, Nine Hello. Not Professional. Hi. Had a nice lunch. We're uh, mm -hmm. ready yeah. to go for our last two rounds. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Sate restaurant right downstairs. Mm -hmm. I think you have your choice. If you don't want to get rained on, you go to the Sate Club or mm -hmm. uh, next door to the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Papa John's. So a lot right. of people are going either the pizza or that. But anyway, uh, enough talk about food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, we have uh, just a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, as before, go ahead. I've got the stream right up here. So um, I'm seeing lots of um, emoticons. Uh, that's good. Uh, but any questions or comments, shoot them to us. We will respond to uh, as many as possible. Uh, of course, I'll uh, be glad to see those. Um, Oh, and let other folks know about it. We really want to, uh, this is our, uh, we're really inaugural broadcast here mm -hmm. in the uh, broadcast, e-journal broadcast center here in the National Go Center. So we're very excited about it and we want to spread the word and let all of the, uh, not just the Go players, but uh, any games players mm -hmm. or folks who are just curious about what this whole thing is. Oh yeah, follow the channel. Thank you, Nathan. Yes, uh, follow the channel. That's a good thing to do, yes? Okay, all right. So, um, round three, remember this is a one-day tournament, uh, four-rounder, uh, basic time, 45 minutes. Overtime is five periods of 30 seconds. I don't think any of the games we've gone so far have uh, even no with uh, resignations for both games. Yeah, but so, they, they went to... I talked to uh, Jonathan, by the way, he does not go by Johnny. Somebody's trying to make a thing out of it. But, uh, <laughs> Jeff's trying to make a thing out of it. He goes by, I think it's either John or Jonathan. But really, really nice guy. And I was chatting with him about the game. <laughs> he said, you know, I knew it was bad, but I, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know? it's really good, hard to find a good move when it's already bad. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you just try to find something that might work. He said he had fun and he really enjoyed having you comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good for him. All right. Uh, so we have back with us uh, uh, Shingbo Zhang, who of course uh, defeated uh, my old teacher Wang Zhao in mm -hmm. uh, round mm -hmm. one, uh, and is playing uh, Justin Tang. I feel like I've been. Uh, watching Justin Tang for years now. Um, I remember Justin when he was actually playing at Redmond Cup. He was yeah, just a, could be, yeah. A little fella. Mm -hmm. um, this Justin, is he the one that maybe has a little brother? Maybe, I could be confusing. He was, anyway, I've known him for a long time. Uh, he's a local player here in the Metro DC area, went to University of Maryland. He does uh, YouTube videos and streams. You can probably just look him up. Um, oh, that, that's right, Light Vault. Well, there it is. I think that's what, uh, what his handle was. Uh, yeah, we'll, um, Nathan will um, throw a link up there for you guys so you can check him out. Uh, so this this should be an interesting game, actually, mm -hmm. I think. Well, uh, they're, they're already in a big fight. Well, the great thing about these um, shorter time periods mm -hmm. uh, is that the games go pretty quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's, that's fun for both us as commentators and you guys as viewers so without further ado let's just roll this back and rock and roll over to you michael somebody by the way in the last stream was really admiring the way that you placed the stones we should we should have you do a lesson just on on proper stone oh okay etiquette mm -hmm. and there's part of it right there yeah well um, you don't it. do that <laughs> <laughs> That was that, that was, was well timed, that was, wasn't it? That was, yeah. <laughs> we had to rehearse that for yeah, yeah. hours. <laughs> you just hold it between your um, two fingers like this, mm -hmm. yeah. and show the snapping. Show this. Yeah. This, oh, when yeah, it's that, next to another stone, yeah, you can do that. I always like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you always kind of you hold it for just. A, I've noticed you guys. You hold it for just say, mm -hmm. like you're thinking about maybe. Maybe you won't play there, even though you know you will. It's like, and we're just savoring the yeah, movie. Yeah. Just, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Making a nice Especially sound. as the board fills up. Mm -hmm. I noticed the, the mm -hmm. professionals really. Well, like especially to like Yama. Um, that reminds me, we were talking about the amazing mm -hmm. title match that I did mm -hmm. English commentary for. Um, he really savors the move. So, like, he, he's, his hang, hand is on that stone 
had been in this position for quite a while. Um, I thought he was holding it for the camera, but he's not. Right, it's just, just he's, he, he just it. likes to do it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this is a position where um, this is another move that is inspired by AI, where Black plays the um, pressing move and when White cuts here. Um, what people used to do, what was most common, was for black to play something like this, um, threatening to move with the black stone next, giving white a chance to capture it, and looking to have some kind of a... This would be a common follow-up to the most common Joseki, although there are a lot of variations that are more complicated. This is the simple way to play. So this is something that black would usually do, and this again was... Um, this was considered an overplay. It turned up in one of uh, AlphaGo's games in, in that 60 game series against human players, and it worked out for AlphaGo. Hmm. And so um, people started playing it, and it's become pretty common for Black to do this and then play here and try to get out. So this has been, there's been a lot of games like this. And what usually happens, and if we just look at this local position, is that white usually plays here, and if black pushes through and covers, which is the natural move, then white um, white can push here with sente, but it's better to play here first hmm. and wait for black to push through and then play the pushing moves. And so, like, this would be a fairly normal... Um, con continuation, this, this one. Um, but if the latter favors white, white might be trying, because blacks, black, white knows that blacks want wanting to keep here. So if the latter favors white, then sometimes white can capture the latter here. And pretty obviously the latter's not going to favor white. Um, so black's idea is to force white to connect here and then crawl to make a life on the side. So there's this kind of variation, which is quite common, but in this, and Actually, in the game, I forget who the human pro was, but in the game that AlphaGo played, um, the player played this move. So this is, this is also a move that looks like it's going to work, but in that game it didn't quite work. In this case, white has a supporting stone here, mm -hmm. which is going to have, uh, it's going to fit into the equation here, it's going to work. So what happens is that yeah, um, just, like, if black times. can crawl enough times here, then black's going to be able to kill the white in the corner. And so this is going to be a very, um, it's going to be a tight fight to capture. Because when black crawls here, uh, and, um, there's a question of can white um, cover or not at this point. And it's, uh, it depends on various things. Like if white covers now, we can have black play here, white plays here. And then here. And this is not looking very good for white because if white cuts here, just let me do a little bit more. And this is where I have fun, of course. And this is going to be a ladder. So that one doesn't work for white. Mm. If white runs in this direction, That's going to be a ladder too, so it's bad for white. Ladders but then, then you know, of course, if at some point white gets to push here once or twice, then that will change it completely. Under the stilt zone, if white gets to push here a couple of times, now it's possible for white to do that. But these these pushing moves are giving black a, a big profit on mm -hmm. this side, mm -hmm. and so there's this little judgment that white has to make. Otherwise, white could have extended. And then black would get to crawl once more, and then it would be this, uh, black might play this move first. It would be this uh, race to capture. So that's the kind of thing that could be happening here. In the game, white covered at this point, and black is cut. So we're heading into that variation I was showing you, and now, of course, white pushes here. So uh, this will probably give white a local advantage in the fight to capture with the corner against black side zones. But um, if when black pushes through here and here, then white will be able to hold the position on that side. And it'll be a kind of a trade here. And we're not doing just the one game this time, are we? We're doing more than one game? 
No, what we have actually, uh, our, our graphics team uh, uh, came up with a really cool thing. We talked about it. I don't think we've ever done this before, have we? It was in Congress. Did we do it in Congress? We're trying to work it in for this one too, but yeah. That's Nathan, our, our director or producer. I forget. Our director. Okay. He's our director. Um, so yeah, bring that up. Yes, so we have head-to-head. Uh, -head. This is the head-to-head -head, mm -hmm. uh, for these two players, uh, which is showing Justin with a pretty good advantage. But I had a note here. Ah, so so Justin is, is pretty ahead on the uh, head, head on the head-to-head, -head. Mm -hmm. uh, but that one was the most recent game. So, mm -hmm. so you gotta factor that in. So yes. overall, I'm in better shape. But uh, <laughs> I think it was at a Congress. Do we know if that that loss was a Congress? Oh, That's interesting. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll check and see when that is. So that's a very nice graphic. Thank you, Nathan. Very cool. All right. So this is. Oh, I see. So yeah, this is uh, White is trying to get some. Um, some forcing moves some forcing to, moves. to make that possible to hold the position on the upper side. And if we, uh, oh, we're back on the board. So if we count the number of liberties Black has, so if we say that White is going to push a couple of times here, and White's going to extend, Black will have a forcing move here. Uh, let's just say White plays like that. And White, Black can slide into the corner. Um, but already we can see that white's going to win because black has just five liberties here, five spaces, and white has five. So even if white just played here, white would be able to win that scenario. And actually white can, can attach here once and still will win. Hmm. So it's going to be that kind of trade. This would not be bad for white, but it's just the one territory. Um, probably playable for black also because black has a good position on the left. So that's what I'm expecting. Otherwise, if black really doesn't like that, one thing that black could uh, be thinking of doing, and since he's pausing at this point, I, oh, no, black played the move, actually. Black, so black played this side. So that's um, deciding the upper side, giving black a strong advantage there. And the idea is that black can still slide into the corner. And so what's happening with this fight to capture? And so that's a question. That is a question. That's, that's a question. It's, it's probably not very good for black, actually. Mm. Um, for instance, uh, let's see Let's see what I, how I can do that. Um, let's, let's say white plays here. Hold on one second. Can we, uh, can we jump into the player room for a second, guys? Yeah, I think Judson's gone walkabout. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith Arnold is back on the, uh, the recording uh, duties for us and is giving us some very... Uh, if, you're, if you're not watching this on, uh, on KGS, you might want to pop in because I think Keith is doing a very nice uh, job of color commentary. He mm -hmm. gave us a heads up that uh, Justin went off, went off walkabout there. Looks like we played the cut here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. The last game they played was the tune-up tournament. Was the tune-up tournament before, right in, in uh, just before Congress in right. June or I want to say July. Uh, yeah, July Right. So that's so in their last in their last mm -hmm. uh, yeah. game uh, was actually right here at the National Go Center. Uh, and again, if you're if you live in the area, come on by. If you're visiting, and a lot of people do come to DC mm -hmm. to visit, we've got lots of free museums and great restaurants. Okay, we started on the politics. We will talk about that. So that was That's just stuff to do. probably not such a good move for White, but White, White wanted to save those four stones. Oh. This is not your sequence. It's not my sequence. Well, White can save the four stones, and Black does have to return to the upper side. Uh, black would probably play this way. Um, but it doesn't really accomplish very much for white. It's probably better for white just to leave it for the time being. And even if black captures, and play on this side, for instance, and even if black captures the four stones, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's just eight points. Right. Saving them is usually more cumbersome. 
So it's, it's not really a good idea for white to be saving these four stones. It's not as if it's creating any attack upon black. Sometimes it's better to sacrifice a few stones. So I don't, this, I don't like this for white. White is white is just feeling really very cramped. It's, very it's not cramped. accomplishing uh, saving the four stones. Is just, I would never think of that move. Oh, I would think of it. I would totally think of it. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it, it just uh, it's just bad. Yeah, it's just bad. But at this point, it's six stones now. It's, it's a bit. Not only is it two, six stones, but you know, you you've already started moving it. There's there's no choice. Um, if anything, he's probably thinking of cutting here, which is and, and that would be another mistake. Yeah, I was wondering um, about that. that white can that. do that, and locally, it's slightly better shape for white. Oh, um, oh. but you know, oh, you can play again. But it just is okay. so much better for black on the outside um, that this would be a bad way to handle it. So I expect this move, and black will probably play on this side. It's just such a... It's a bad... <coughs> yeah, it's not a, not a happy shape. Um, it's going to be really interesting in the corner. They haven't gotten around to fin starting the corner fight. What fights. is going on here? Um, well, black can slide, and um, white might attach on the second line. Uh, let's make it something like this, for instance. And this is a point where black has to, uh, if black continues to attack in the corner, it becomes a bit dangerous. <coughs> For instance, right. if black plays here, right? Wow, Chris, you, you you like that move, huh? I like it because I saw it. <coughs> and then here, Throw it, right? Is this, is this? Can we call this a dango? Yeah, it's also called the sick. We, we, we had dumplings for lunch. We had just dumplings. Like this. They were the fried oh, one. Okay. This looked a little more like a steamed dumpling. Uh huh. Okay. Well, in Japan, they call it the sekito shibori, okay. and shibori the shibori part means it's a squeeze. So it's a, it's a squeezing and forcing black to connect all these points here. And sekito is a um, a stone pillar, which is a type of gravestone. Sure, I've seen it. I've seen <laughs> yeah. It. yeah, and they they are there's a little pillar mm -hmm. here, so you it's look at it from that direction. Yeah, yeah. Um, they look they look um, mm -hmm. they look square squarish, but they're fairly mm -hmm. tall. So even if white plays away here, white's going to win by one move. Of course, this this sort just, of force that, just that that's going to be a one sided call also. Right. Uh, in fact, it's not even a call. I'm yeah. sorry. No, it's just, uh, so it's just dead. So this would be a disaster for black. But actually what black does, um, black could play on this side, which would change that. Like if black white plays here now, now black's going to win this, win against the corner. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has extended black's liberties. White plays here, now white's going to win if it's a semi, like if black does something like that. So black would then live on the side. So this is an example of how both sides could potentially win, but this would just be good for black because white has such bad shape on the outside. Oh, there's a slide. Yeah, so it looks like black can accomplish something with this slide. And black played this move on this side. There's there's some merit to play, taking on the second line too. And so white really needs to attach the second line to have any uh, possibility to save those four stones. Um, see, white does have some potential for a moyo on the outside, on the left side of the board. Mm -hmm. But I, at this point, I like this variation for black. Black stones all seem to be working really you know, nicely. Mm -hmm. And white could also connect immediately. It, it might. It, there's. It's sort of questionable whether white wants to push through first or not. It's, it 
it can be done both ways. So this is the game position. But locally, um, if it does turn into a semi-eye, most of the cases it's going to be um, an advantage for black mm -hmm. locally. Mm -hmm. So, and this would, I think this would have all been fairly even if white had not done this thing with the four stones. Yeah. Which was, which was probably but bad. But now it's hard to see an even result. Since. It's not completely bad, but it is. It's, it does does favor black. black. So that's what White is thinking about right now, and White is thinking about whether he wants to push through on the third line first, or just to connect on the second line. There's basically there's not really any other choices that White has in this local position. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Should we do some alpha gun games? We talked about that actually, but uh, he, he can do that. <laughs> he knows them. He does. Actually, show him in this corner. Show him the thing you showed me this morning from that from that new game. Um, uh, the professional game? Yeah. Look, ch look, check out this non Joseki. Oh, the game. non the the non Joseki Joseki. This is uh, from a see. game. Who was who was playing in this game? Okay, which one? Which one? Um, oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was uh, it. Was uh, black was Lin Shaw, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure I remember who his opponent was, but they played. This Joseki is actually seen a lot of innovation recently, mm -hmm. and so like when uh, white can play a honey here. And in fact, the wide Hasami here was pretty rare mm -hmm. recently. It's been seen a lot now. And when white plays the Hane here, often black extends in this direction, which had been a bit unusual. And usually black would play this way. Um, and in this game, white jumped into the 3 3 point immediately. So it's a game that was just played this week. And, and this is the Joseki move. Instead, black extended here. Because black had a potential to build a moyo in that direction. So black was trying to close white off. So don't show him the next move. Okay. White cuts. Gets... And black plays a honey here. So black is uh, aiming to throw away these three stones. Um, but instead of just doing it, black tries to get some extra potential here. So the idea is that, for instance, if... Um, so it continued like this. And at this point, if white plays something like this, white's probably going to be able to um, have an advantage in the local fight. Um, but black might just uh, play a double honey and start building on the outside. Right. So there's, um, there's, it's not really clear which side is going to sacrifice their stones at this point. <laughs> but um, in, so at this point, what white did was white. Um, let's see, what did white do? White, white played here. And extended, and and instead of going after the corner, white just scrolled underneath. So black got to um, to live in the corner. And they had this trade. And of course, the board position is completely different. And this was a sharp move because white has this forcing move here, so black cannot play an Atari. And uh, so this was the local. The local fight. And white threw in here. So uh, this is if black plays here, white can cut here and extend. And at any point, if white, black plays here, this is going to be a, a white, black cannot afford to give up these three stones. So black would play here, white would play here. 
and this would be a, a ko. Mm. Uh, of course, black has no ko threat, so what black did was black played something like this, and it turned into a kind of a trade. Mm. But there's the, the rest of the board is completely different from what we have on the board. Of course, yeah, and no, I just want to show that local. Okay, black fell into the trap here. Uh-oh. Um, but it's still salvageable, maybe. But I, I don't approve of what Black is doing in that corner right now. All right, let's take a look. Back to the real game. That was fun, though. This was a real yes. game, too. It was just completely different right. players. <laughs> okay. So, not, so this not, is, not alpha go, but, you know, well, something, something. So this is where I think that it would have been normal for Black to play something sure. like this to make a um, potential kill in the corner and a life for Black. Um, instead, Black played the honey. So obviously white this is what you were warning about earlier. I was about warning about to, this. So, yeah. so this is this is just a disaster for black. So black has to find a way to avoid this thing. It's all driven, right? It's all just Well, uh, there there are branching points. Um, but like this would just be very bad for black. This this is already finished. Yeah. It's already yeah, hopeless. It's just, uh, we just, yeah, we just so to go back one move, black could play here. Making uh, white might not do it that way. White white might might just push through here, and but black is losing a lot even if white just goes and takes the three stones. That that's a wasted move and some extra white territory. Even if black manages to escape force the side, so that would be bad. So we we back off a little bit more. Uh, what if black extends down here? It's hard already. This is probably not very strong in the in the fight to capture. So if white, uh, let's have white play this as uh, just a kind of a safe move like this. If black connects, white's going to win by one move. So black has no pushing move here. So white wins that one. Cannot approach. Uh, so black's last chance is to play a hunter here. And white will take the two stones. And maybe white will cover there. White doesn't really have to do it that way, does he? He can just play from this side. It's like another disaster for black. Well, that would be a kind of a sicky like position if white plays here. And this, if white just cover, comes from this side, actually it's okay for black. Because white has no way to continue after this. So white would probably, to get back to the original position, white would probably play here, and it would be a call. So it's, um, it's actually a call. Black connects here, and white takes the call. So at this point, white has a slight, it's, um, it's a one-step call, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a one-step call that favors white. But white's getting a great position on the outside, so in general, this is okay for white. So all of these variations are not as good for black as backing off once here, which would give black a more clear advantage. And the, the way he had played the honey here fairly quickly, and then is thinking so hard now, Sort of indicates that he had an oversight here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks, it, I mean, uh, reducing the liberty is, is often. He just thought that he could uh, easily capture out, right? white because, yeah. like, if white did not have this uh, stone pillar squeeze here, this would, uh, this would be a win for black. Like, white could play like this and like this to fill liberties in a more normal mm -hmm. way, you might think. Mm -hmm. uh, but black has four liberties, white has four liberties. There's there's a, a kind of a colon I think, there. I think maybe you're going to like the game move. You're going to like the game I think, move? I think you're going to like the game move. Tanuki. Tanuki, yeah. Okay, he did right. Tanuki. You, I think uh, you suggested this last game. Yeah, well, when you've messed up, it's sometimes a good idea to play away from the whole area. Um, but yeah, it's, just, it's kind of a pity that black had such a good position and just threw it away with one one move. Wow. 
So white kind of made up for I mean cut black out. Well, it's, it's, it's a much more it's more much more important um, what happened on the left side yeah, there of course. Than, than white's mistake in saving the four stones. That that's relatively uh, uh, unimportant. Of course, yeah. Descent B15 after W16, go for something like C13. C13 would be this one. And this is not really going to increase Black's liberties very much uh, when White covers here. And at this point, Black has lost the option of making eyes for the time being. So black would have to go back to this side, and it would not it would not accomplish very much. It would just be the same story of a a, a slight a code that uh, is slightly one sided, right. favors white. We could uh, just play that off just to make sure I'm not uh, tricking you, right? Yeah, so basically it's, it's this shape again, and black has no, no pushing move. But then if black plays down here, black doesn't have room to live, so white would just play on this side. So it's not really, or actually white could probably win the semi by playing here. Let's do this one too, what plays here. Um, Black plays here, white plays here. If black connects the two stones, white can just do this uh, one move at, at a time. Just play here. Black, black only has two liberties left. Mm -hmm. uh, white has three. If black just leaves the two stones, that doesn't really work either. Because white just takes them. And again, it's the same position where black doesn't have the pushing move. Black has nowhere to push. So it's just wow. it's just set up in a way that it's not going to be good for black. There is some some oddity there. There's potential. So maybe a more realistic move would be sliding out on the second line which could uh, potentially give black a bit more space. Um, but if white, if white plays here, white's going to be able to kill uh, the stones on the side. But this would uh, allow black to get a good shape on, on this side. So that would, that would be a, a good follow-up to, to this approach move here to make a, a territory mm -hmm. on the side. And black still has some Ajiba connection underneath it. So this is the kind of thing that, um, if you play away like this, and you get some extra stones in the area, it yeah, becomes easier down. to find, you know, like th this kind of move didn't look very good before, but when you have a black stone here, suddenly you, you see that it could um, be a good move. Mm -hmm. and, and going down like that is maybe the, the main line move for black in that local position. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a good suggestion. Yeah. That was, who was that? Oh, it's now. Anyway, good question. Thank you. Yeah. So white played an attachment on top. Mm -hmm. uh, natural for, oh, the black dumped into the threes. So something like this maybe. Mm -hmm. Or if white covers on this side, and in this case black would probably just connect underneath. But that's not 100% dead yet. It, there is some Aji there. So that's something that Black might be trying to make use of later. Right. Just to show one more variation. Maybe I'm showing too many. No? Uh, you can take it. Yeah, showing too many. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. It's OK. Another way Black could do it with the full and be the full into, tr into the trap here.
and at this point to, to dodge out. And White would have to put a stone in here. So something like this is another way Black could try to salvage the position. So as far as territory is concerned, it, Black is scooping out the hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought so. Uh, I was just joking. I have more variations coming. Yeah. Can't stop. You can't. <laughs> you can't stop Michael from doing variations. Yeah. That's that's. So this is something that could actually put Black in a territorial lead. That's kind of cute, actually, yeah. running away like that. So Black does still have options there. Um, it's just that up to this point, White didn't really have time to deal with it. So this is a time. Oh, but White didn't didn't White played in this corner. That's a big move. In this position, um, I'm not really expecting Black to be playing something like this, a kind of a joseki like move. But since since Black's so strong in the area, Black can play more strongly with moves like this, for instance. If Black plays in the local. The left side is still a pretty important area, so if I could just ignore this and play on the left side too. Uh, like even this move works, but um, Black would like to sort of connect it up to the upper left corner. Mm -hmm. So that sequence I was suggesting with the connection underneath is one way. Or, um, in fact, that looked pretty good, didn't it? Oh, and, I love otherwise, that. Actually, I really one, like yeah. that. And I don't really see a counter for white. Well, actually, um, let's let's look into that. So black plays here, white plays here. Up to this point, it's pretty forced. But actually, um, there's a question when white plays this move. Because when black plays here, it's actually better for white to play on this side. Because white has such an such of an advantage that if black plays here, white's going to win anyway. Sorry. White wins. Yeah. And so this uh, takes away black's opportunity to, to run out into the side. So black would probably actually, to be exact, black probably leaves it at this point. Uh, white has to go this far. So this is sort of forced. So now black can jump out. Uh, white gets a slightly better position than before, but black does manage to escape. So this is something that black could actually seriously contemplate at this point. Yeah. And the fact that black is pausing at this point sort of indicates that black might be thinking of trying something on the left side. Hmm. So tell them more. We started against this a little bit last game. Um, so we were talking about the uh, the Majin, which everybody checked out. Yeah. Um, but you're just starting a new series. Uh, a with, new uh, series NHK. of lessons, yes. Um, yeah, so so NHK is the um, the national TV station in Japan. It's, it's, um, you can see it in any part of Japan. So it's all over Japan. Mm -hmm. um, and they do a Go tournament. So they have the NHK Cup, which is a Go tournament that they do. And they also have um, a 30 minute lesson before the NHK Cup, so it's the same, um, they're sort of paired together on the same, same day of the week, which is Sunday afternoon. Um, and well, they've been doing that a long time because I remember on a couple of my trips, uh, people you've I, seen uh, it? I've seen it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, they do um, this lesson, and this time it's sort of um, pointed towards Q players. And the, um, the person helping me, and, and I'm going to be the teacher. Of and the course. person helping me to do it is actually an, another American, and she's Diana. Uh, I told uh, Garnet, right. Diana Garnet. Yeah. I always wanted to think of Diana Kosagi, but it, of course she's mm -hmm. in uh, Korea. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and she's um, 
She's a singer, actually. She's a um, and she singer. likes yeah, singer she, like la 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 la. Yeah, yeah. She's a do, professional do, do, do singer. Do they sing during the lesson? Nope, no. Nope. <laughs> you look quite relieved. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give them ideas. Yeah, really. Right, yeah. Um, They're like, oh, Michael can sing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, so uh, she's a professional singer, and she was interested um, in Japanese popular songs. So that's what brought her to Japan, but actually she also learned to play Go uh, when she was a child. And she's a cue player, so she's, she's sort of hoping to become a shodan. And so that's the level of the lessons I'm doing this time. And I was very busy um, preparing for it, because I make all the, all the lessons in advance. And, um, and they actually make it into a kind of a, 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 a little book, a booklet. Nice. Of lessons, so so that people can. It's a it's a magazine almost. Very cool. Unfortunately, we don't we don't uh, get those here. But but, um, so we're we're going to continue. Uh, actually, we'll we'll do uh, the uh, lecture or the commentary that we did last night of the self play game twenty three. Mm -hmm. uh, we have that on. I keep saying tape, but it's not really tape. It's, it's figurative tape. It's figurative tape. And it's, we have it. You say it's flash right. memory if you want. Flash memory. We have it on flash <laughs> memory. That doesn't sound so good. Anyway, we have, it was recorded by our crack digital team here who had all kinds of cameras and lights and stuff. Um, and uh, luckily, when we, we had a big rainstorm here last night, and when the uh, roof decided to leak, uh, it, it did not leak on the camera or the microphone. It leaked on the go board, yeah, so, yeah, which could take it. So mm -hmm. that was that was fine. So it anyway, was lucky. Uh, um, a little talking, bit on me too. A little bit on you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, what's yeah. in our hands? Uh, anyway, so we'll be releasing that. We'll be continuing uh, with with those series. Um, but we're we're looking at a new series. Uh, I am tentatively calling. Uh, what am I calling it? Redmond's Random Enc uh, Encyclopedia of Go. Mm -hmm. That's our working title, and it's going to be a series of uh, of short. I think we're talking uh, short few minutes, uh, short lessons. Yeah, maybe. You might call them lessons. Yeah. yeah, but on a whole range of things, and we'll probably take suggestions as well. In fact, uh, you can you can uh, give us some suggestions now. Um, but on everything from uh, various go terms uh, that uh, people you know, not the obvious ones, but some go terms that people may not be as familiar with, uh, to important people in go history. We were talking uh, yesterday mm -hmm. uh, on the drive back from the. Um, Various people we might like do. Sansa. Yeah, yeah I like Sansa. Who is Sansa? Sansa? Why is yeah. why, why was Sansa important? Mm -hmm. What uh, what's interesting about mm -hmm. about Sansa? Well, without him, there wouldn't have been a golden era of Go. Yeah, there so, you go. So, so make yeah. sure when you, we uh, yeah. may, we may even we may even get a chance to record a few of those before before Michael goes yeah. back. So so that would be a series. So if you have if you have things that you would like to know, uh, here we have a suggestion already from. Cats play Go. I have to check and see. I think my cat might be playing Go when I'm not watching it. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Be surprised. It has I, access I to a Go board. Stones in strange places in mm -hmm. the house sometimes. Anyway, so Cats play Go says we should make one on Katani. Definitely. Katani was one of the three pros, and I. Um, I think so. I think so. Uh, more importantly, he was a good friend of Go Sagan. Yes. And he helped Go Sagan um, invent the new opening which is uh, the new opening theory was a theory that um, emphasized, for Go Sagan it emphasized speed mm -hmm. and um, efficiency. And so it had a lot of ideas about playing the star point in the corner, right. um, which is very modern. It, and this was in the middle of the 20th century, mm -hmm. about 50 years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, or actually a bit more. Yeah. Um, and so he was way ahead of his time, uh, one of the greatest geniuses and Kitani was a good friend, but also one of the top players of the time. 
and he was right there to help Jose and make it there. They were there's the same, there's yeah. your Katani lesson yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I things. have more to say on for the I, video. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the challenge for Michael is going, and for both of us is going to be, of course, these are not five minute subjects, but mm -hmm. our whole idea is is not so much to for these to be exhaustive and authoritative. Mm -hmm. But to really give you, because Michael and I are, are mm -hmm. you know, sort of just talking about things, you know, mm -hmm. he has so many things that he knows. It's a chance to, to share some of that and basically to get you excited. And I think what we'll do is um, uh, we'll include links when we, when these will be posted. Uh, well, we would we can do some of them on Twitch. We can do them on YouTube. We'll provide links if you want to know more about Katani mm -hmm. or Sansa or whatever. So more of a hey, this is really cool, go check it out with some links. Now, uh, speaking of which, uh, we, we have some uh, info from uh, our s chat here. Ooh, she, so, no, this is about Diana Garnett. She's staying the Spinning World ED for Naruto. Do you know about this? Um, well, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really know. Um, I know who Naruto is. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently, she's a pretty is she from, artist. She's apparently, can you look her up? Apparently she's from D.C., yep. which I did not know. I if she's a D.C. I, person, I then, then and it's all different, we huh? need to get her here. Okay. Well, she's not here now. She's living in Japan. I know. Yeah. All right. Cool. I did not know that. Uh, question on the time. Basic time, 45 minutes. Overtime is five periods of 30 seconds apiece. And we have confirmation from Nathan. Yes, indeed. Uh, Diana was born, born in D.C. Yeah. So when you see her, you'll have to find out more. Oh, good. All right. We'll keep those suggestions coming uh, for the... Uh, Michael Redmond's random encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty random. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. Random encyclopedia. I like. I just like the idea of a random encyclopedia. It's, it's, it's kind of like a Wikipedia, but not. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you want to talk about the game or should we? I was just I kind of trying to give yeah, some yeah. room for them to play some more moves. Have okay. they done that? They played some more moves. Okay. Yeah, Nathan, um, they're not doing it. what I wanted Black to do on the left side. Should we go in there and uh, have yeah, a chat? Yeah, yeah that <laughs> helped. Um, they're not hearing me as well as the players last time. Yeah, yeah. Last time was spooky. Yeah, 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 was like spooky. you, you would run out this variation, and then it would magically appear on their board. Yeah, yeah. You need to go check Nate and make sure that our voices aren't coming through the, uh, <laughs> the wall. I haven't heard anything about it. No, yeah. I'm kidding. It's fine. Yeah. I think they're just hearing this. Remember Charlie Brown? Wah, wah, wah. I think that's what they're hearing. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe in, in that room. Or, yeah. I think in that room we're actually good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's catch up to the game. What is going? Oh, we have a time check. Also, black has seventeen minutes. White has twenty-two minutes. Lots of time. Mm -hmm. of well, okay. The position here, um, black is not really being actively attacking. But black does have um, some territory here. Yeah. It's pretty easy to see how yeah. much territory black has. Uh, black has 10 points in the lower left corner, um, less than 20 points in the lower right corner, and then more than 20 points in, on the upper side here. So, so black has 20, in the 40, vicinity 60, of about 50. 50, mm -hmm. 50 okay. And how many did we say that white has? Um, and white's territory all depends on what happens on the left side. So it's a well, black is playing pretty leisurely here and not doing anything on the left side. But as I was saying, there's a lot of things that black can try. Mm -hmm. So um, at some point, black should be trying to just scoop out that whole territory. And you were talking about the, the nice thing about this is that it also could activate right, some yeah. of the dips running away. On well, for instance, or... now black is immediate threat is to yeah, pull out is... here, which would be attack on an attack on white mm -hmm, as well mm -hmm. as it would just destroy the whole territory. So white is probably thinking of just capturing that black stone. And the question is um, whether whether or not it's too late for black to do something with those stones in the upper left corner. Um, because Time is running out, right? Time is running out, yeah. So white played an attachment here. And that's, that's uh, kind of a nice sabaki move. Black would probably just pull back, though. Sabaki. We should do one on Sabaki. Mm -hmm. I like Sabaki. Yeah, that's that's going to be a difficult subject. Um, otherwise, black could bump against, but that would just mean that black would have to put another stone mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So it's probably more reasonable just to pull back. 
Oh, but you know what they did your your okay. So this is the normal. Otherwise, white could play the honey here, which is also a bit troublesome. Um, and if black covers, then white gets get a cut in worms. So that would be okay for white, um, even if white sacrifices the one stone. It's it's going to be it's going to have some value as an annoyance for black. Um, otherwise, if black when white plays this honey. If black plays an Atari on this side, white can break through here. And this is a cool like position, which is a bit troublesome for black again. Uh, so that's not good. Like that. no, like so that. what black will do is uh, the good move for black is to play a hanging connection here, and then then to protect here. So that would that would be okay for black. That seems that seems reasonable. So white might just pull back if white plays the local move. And black really needs to deal with the cut um, potential, so maybe here. It's interesting, you know, uh, I, I probably instinctively sorry, um, would, have, would have just gone with this as well. Mm -hmm. But after seeing, mm -hmm. you, I, I just really like yeah. it. It's just, it's no just, problem with the peep here. Right, it's just, really it's just no finish, just one move yeah. finish. Yeah, this is, yeah, now, 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 now really I don't like this. No, I would expect. Never, yeah. Oh, so white yeah, did that one. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. So, so this the common correct answer for that is sure. Right here. And actually, this is black probably wants to cover here anyway. But there is the option of playing on this side and going after white. I really want to get to this as black, mm -hmm. right? It this seems point, really yeah. urgent. Yes. So it seems like. So there was no no good reason for white to be doing this at this point of the game anyway. So I I, I sort of question white's move also. This move to start with because it seems a little stroppy, right? Um, a little, a little. It's like, a move that can, can help white a little bit here, but it's there's there's not. It sounds if black is going to play here. If white, but you know, I, that's a Justin move. I, that, that, I know Justin style. Justin, it's a sharp so Justin move. Justin is white. Yeah. No, no, I mean no Justin King, is shin, 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 oh, Okay. Well, maybe it's a, it's a sharp. It's a sharp move. It's a sharp move, but it's um, it's hard to say whether it's accomplished in, because in some cases white might. I uh, oh. want to uh, do a different way, like for instance, Keep white would do it this open. way. Um, this would give white a oh, better shape towards shape. the center. Yeah. And actually, it's pretty good for eye shape, too. This would happen after white has added the stone. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good for eye shape, too, because um, when white expands here, for instance, with something like that, white is much closer to, to, to eye shape mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. than, than when white has been forced to pull back here. It's a much a, a smaller shape. And white has the extra potential out here. So this is not always going to be the best move. Sometimes white will want to force from this side. Uh, in fact, this is the more common move. Mm -hmm. uh, this is threatening a cut here. Um, black has a number of ways to answer. If white, black answers too, it's usually better to force with this zone, threatening the cut. Is this too and then, then black by gets this anyway. It's the no, same it thing. Well, it, it's, it's very, it's very, um, it's it, it's a good move. It's okay to play there. But it, but it doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't. Yeah. Complete, it it still works to a certain extent for white. Right. It all depends on whether white really needs eyes for this group. Uh, in which case, white might be doing this one or this one, or if white's just playing an end game sequence, in which case it would be okay to choose this one. Okay. And in either case, white has to start with a move here anyway. Oh, it looks like they've played it out. Okay, so this is uh, the variation where black is black covered immediately, and white got to cut here. So this was what white was trying to do, because now when black goes after this cutting stone, I would sort of assume black to play here. White can play on this side and still has the potential to play out. This just um, seems like black lost a tempo in that black sequence. Black lost a tempo. Yes. So it was. It was much better for black to play here to start with. I feel like Justin doesn't want to be pushed around. It feels yeah. like that these are his moves. As he doesn't. Yeah. But then you see this this exchange of this stone for this stone is just a profit for white. Right. The, the, the it didn't happen in that order, of course. But the fact that white no. got to cut here once is in in effect. In effect, it's just an exchange. From this position, which white black could have attained, it's an exchange of this stone for this stone, which means white has some potential there. So that's why black should have played on this side, and white didn't would not have time to extend; it wouldn't work. 
And black would just come on this side, so it doesn't work. So black, white has to pull back, and black has a play here. So black, um, black's play can be redeemed if black doesn't have to push it through here. Actually, it's a pretty big move. I guess I was just wondering about that. I mean, is is there something can it, this would be a, a time where black could try this move? I, I, feel, um, you know, I feel like I um, would. These three would, zones are going to be cut off. Uh, you know, they're going to be cut off. I, I feel like maybe you know, just have to. For instance, in a, a variation like this, um, black's probably not going to do it that way. But in a variation like this, the three stones in the center they're already cut off. They're they're not connected. Um, but yeah, black does want to try something like that. I, I would want to try something like this. I, I just, I just, I, I don't. It's, yes, it's too uh, submissive. Yeah. Yeah. But it just. This at least, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it at least keeps up some sort of feeling among. Mm -hmm. uh, and the corner group is alive. So right, of course. So it's okay. And this is more active. It's more active, exactly. Boy, what a mess of that upper left corner. Oh my gosh. Well, it's still on the way. Like as it's I just such, it's just such a bunch of bad There's still potential shape. for black. It's, well, Seriously. the the honey here on the on the Ugh. first line that was a peerless. Oh, move. and this. Mm, that's not good. Ugh. That's not good. But it's, I have to say, when I make moves like that, I just I just I feel so mad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's clearly better for white to have just sacrificed the four stones. Yeah, and, just and it would have given white more options on the right side. But you know, th this this kind of mistake is um, when you look at the territory itself. White has saved that ten points, 10, 10 or so points. It, it's not completely meaningless. No, so no, no. This no. kind of mistake I'm, I'm, can be redeemed. I'm guilty as anybody else of it. I, you know, it's but just... when white black plays a honey here on the first line. And has no good reply to white pushing through. Um, that's a, that's just gotta be a bad. Lost an op yeah. opportunity to save the black group. Um, and so Ooh, that's a that's water. Huge. Oh, very good. Thank you. You still have your coffee too, right? I had a coffee. Had I a coffee. finished it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oof. Good for you. I'm using my. Uh, well, this is the tenth Go Congress. This is uh, this is. Ten yeah, years ago. I had a bunch of Congress books. Oh, kitchen. okay. Oh, in the kitchen. Cool. Yeah. I had two thousand. Oh, thank God, Joel. We love you. The man with the fan. We don't need a man with a plan. We need a man with a fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whew. You're in good form today. Ah, uh, you know, I, 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 you know, that's that's my bit. <laughs> each does. Each of us does the thing that we're good at. Ay, ay, ay. So this is a good time for black to counter attack, really. I, I, I really I really want this move. Mm -hmm. This is this is mm -hmm. well that it could be that move, it could be something um, in the Oh, it corner. could start there's start, 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 kind of, start to mess around here. Yeah, you know, let's just show that variation once more. I really like this version. If white like plays from way. this one side it's gonna be an advantage for black in the corner. Because uh, black can just play a hunter here. And black will not easily lose this. Let's see if I can find a way to win without a call. Maybe black can just connect here. Yeah, and then it's not even a call. Because the problem is if black plays a honey, white can throw in here. And this is a bit one-sided code. It's, it's uh, a great advantage for black. Because uh, white has to win the code twice. It's a, a two-step call. So it's an advantage for black. Um, but actually, if black connects here, black can win unconditionally. So that's just a win for black. It means that white has to go ahead with the squeeze. And white has to squeeze up to this point in the throwing here in order to be able to win the same act. Otherwise, black would get an eye. Well, sorry, uh, we have some action here, and it is not. Well, actually, no, it's a move that it's, I was going to. It's another active move. I, 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 I was going to ask you about this move. It's an interesting move. Hane. Yeah, it's a good move. So, this is something that I would consider playing even right now. But uh, it, the game is interesting, too. 
black plate instead of extending. We may just have to take off our, you know. <laughs> oh. And then black um, air. Extend it down. Nice. It's already. And if white covers here, the idea is to play an Atari here and then to cover here. Sacrificing the two stones. And at this point, black has to return and add a stone to the outside. So white can live. But again, with the this move here and this move here, black is pretty well alive in the corner. And this would be an opportunity for black to save those stones in the upper left corner. So this no, would be clever. Play, black doesn't need to, need to live. Cause it's, cause well, it's yeah, yeah, but like, if white plays here, right. uh, black could even answer it on this side. Yep. And, uh, and it's hard for white to kill this black group, actually. Uh, it's, this is actually an interesting smiggle position. Let's, let's have black adding a stone to this side. If white plays here, this is going to be alive. If white plays here, and then cuts, then again black can live with this move. And this move. So black has two eyes. Um, that's, the, that's the one that people even know. Oh yeah, well, uh, it, it's, it's a cute move, but actually black can get away with playing too. a tar too. Yeah. Yeah. Just the extra eye there. But, but this is nice. Mm -hmm. So if white plays down here, then it's a bit more complicated. Mm. Uh, black can play here, but this would actually be a ko. Because there's a ko in the corner. But this ko is dangerous for white, because when black wins, the white group is not alive. So there's a lot of complications here. It's not the uh, the conclusion is that it's not easy for white to kill this black group. So black cuts. There's also the option of playing on this side and giving white this, and then trying to connect underneath to somewhere, which also will sort of work because black has this force move there. So it's hard for white to cut this this group out. So black can just ignore it, it for the time being. Um, it's not as a big enough threat for black to have to answer, and black can ignore it and play again on the upper side. So this was actually quite a threat for black, for black to start something in the corner. But white didn't do it that way. Let's get back to the game. This was just bad for white, so it, it, it makes sense that white tried something else. So black has just played down here. White covered from this side. Uh, black can connect. So this was pretty effective. Um, looks like black will be able to capture the white stones in this area. Um, if white plays something like this, um, black can capture the whole, whole group here. Of course, it does look like that that that, that black group in the corner is probably going to be dead. Now. So that's that's the drawback. But black is getting a lot here. It's probably um, not bad. And it's still hard to see what white tri was trying to accomplish with this. Um, this is actually the local exchange here. If black adds a stone here, black is being gaining territory instead of losing territory. I'm not crazy about white's play. It all stemmed corner. from this yeah. attachment here. That, yeah. that was just I'm a bad. Just, I'm just not sure. That, yeah. I mean, either the, the strategy or the execution will seem to be a little mm -hmm. questionable. Well put. Both the executions and the strategy. So this is to um, clarify. White should have just added a stone here. And this, this yeah. would have changed this is, what happens in the yeah. corner. It would have changed the yeah. value of that move. Yeah. And it would have left white with various options, like I was showing this, this attachment. This attachment, sometimes it works. And in an end game position, Simple moves like this are sometimes better. Oh, this one doesn't look like it belongs here. You missed one. Yeah, that looks yeah. like one of the big ones. Yeah, it's a big one. Um, but to your point here, it's not clear what the best move. What the be. best move. That is. depends on how black tries to attack or not to. And so yeah. white, white should not be messing about at mm -hmm. this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and it, it sort of backfired. So that was bad, and uh, Black did manage and to punish it. And it's my choices. Yeah. 
Well, it's funny because I think Black made a mistake with this move, but well, it's, it's working it's, it's okay. in a way. It's, it's I'm working. provided the Black it, found it, this it, move. Black, yeah, so it, Black it's intended working. to go this way from the beginning. Yeah. So that that means it yeah. wasn't bad. Actually. Yeah, and this Hana, I like this Hana. That's a strong move. And white cover, covering probably wasn't the best move for white. Even if white is going to back out of this, white should just pull back. And that would uh, lead to this variation. In this case, white would be losing a bit less and um, would still have some potential forcing moves. It would still be difficult for black to save that. Even if white just simply played like this, I think this is slightly better uh, for white than the game. White's getting a more solid position on the side. Of it. But in the game, white covered. Black played here. Hmm. Mm. Okay. White hasn't played that extreme. But basically, that's what I sort of expect white to do. Um, white does have a forcing move here, so if white really wants to try to accomplish something here, white could try that and then, then play here, threatening this one, and something like this. This is a very, it's a very dangerous way to play, but this is something that white could try. Yeah. White's going to lose something. Like white would, for, for instance, white would lose these four stones. Um, but it would be, it would be worthwhile because white would be getting something on the left side. Right, which is there. But of course, black doesn't necessarily have to connect here. Mm -hmm. And could, for instance, be playing something on this side, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is more territory. That's pretty big. Plus, it's got the. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of things that White might be thinking about right now. The options White might. Oh, in fact. White did play that piece. Mm -hmm. So this is an opportunity for black to extend here. Yeah, I like that better. Mm -hmm. But these, these are no longer important stones, right? Right. Well, there there are there is still a potential attack against white here. But I think the left side is much as far as server is concerned, right? so much bigger. For a uh, player who likes to attack, it's sometimes difficult to sacrifice these two stones because they are cutting stones. Interesting uh, emoticons, or those, those are not emoticons, those are what are those called? They're uh, ah, uh, good, it's very cool. It's very cool. So, yeah, good, good comment from Scooped. Yeah, they. Uh, I agree. They are excellent. I got. I have to tell you, um, 
So if I did play that, that's good. Oh, made Michael, made Michael happy. Yeah, yeah. Made Michael yeah. happy. But, uh, yeah, we were um, we were working. We we knew we had to set this up because you know we knew Michael was going to be here, and we were doing the tournament, and uh, so we got the room cleared out. And uh, Nathan and I were in here. Just was it just a week ago, right, Joel? It's a week ago. Yeah, it was a week ago Friday. That's right. It was a Friday before Labor Day. And um, we were we were trying to put up the two <laughs> we were trying to put up the two by fours which are holding up all the lights and cameras and so forth. And uh, let's just say let's just say that uh, construction work not our forte. Do you think that's a fair thing to say, Joel? Yeah, he's 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 Sorry. being very diplomatic. <laughs> We, um, I think we had how many how many holes had we drilled in the wall before we called you in? It was a mess, wasn't it? There was, we got we got it. We were looking. We we're trying to find in order to attach two by fours yeah. to the wall, you need to find the studs, right, right, because they don't have them cut, you know, nicely marked outside, you mm -hmm. know. So we have to find them. And I think about the sixth hole that we drilled, and we couldn't find the stud. And I looked at Nathan, and Nathan looked at me, and. Let's let's call Joel. <laughs> so I came in the next day, and Joel had what was that thing that you had with the laser leveler? Is that is that what that's actually called? Laser leveler. Laser leveler, and, and he had tools and all kinds of implements of construction. <laughs> and he had the and he had the T-shirt. I think was that from your old company? Yeah. And I was like, all right, we're in we're in good hands now. Because the thing that I was worried about, Michael, was that Nathan and I, went through some miracle, managed to get these things up, but we had no confidence <laughs> that they would actually stay up there. Yeah. You know, so we'd be right in the middle of this, and all of a sudden, there's no chance. He would. Joel, Joel thinks we could probably do chin ups on them. So fortunately, yeah, neither yeah, of us yeah. can do chin ups. So yeah, probably that idea. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass on that. All right, where where are we at on the game? Someone had a good question. Well, I, I was sort of trying to decide which was better for black. This is oh, also can you guys hear the fan? Is that is that what you're People hearing? People can hear the fan, can but also the, there's the a fan. pretty good question that I was almost missed. Going back to the upper right corner, it was a very strange exchange when we were talking about something else. But, um, it's either the fan or we're going to strip down here, folks. So, yeah. I mean, you know, your choice. <laughs> um, <laughs> you make there the was call. this position in the upper right corner, upper yeah. left corner, where Black was really very submissive, but I would have I would have definitely played here mm. and allowed White to live in the corner if White manages to do that. Um, or I, otherwise, White could try this move, but again, in this case, Black would just take a big corner. It would be okay for Black. Uh, that's a big corner. Uh, that's a big corner, and and white's still under attack. So this is how I wanted to play with black, or black could play a more solid. <coughs> move. For instance, this would be a more solid move, um, which establishes a connection on the outside. Um, but the question was, uh, how about the? Um, so I, it was. Uh, oh, it's gone already. But it oh, was, it was, uh, Joel, it, can you roll were, the? No, it's okay. It's, you it, got uh, it. I, they were asking. Person was asking whether to play. What about this move? Mm -hmm. uh, and it works. Um, if Black connects, though, the territorial loss in the corner is probably too big. Although Black can cut White off. It's a, this is another uh, Iron pill, Pillar thing. Oh, maybe White doesn't want to do that. Even if White just plays on this side. And stuff like this. It's, it, Black's not really gained very much. White's going to be able to handle these stones. So, um, so the Tetsuji, of course, in this Joseki position would be to crawl here. And if white extends, black can capture by playing here. So that would be, I guess, okay. But um, this is a large, a large territorial losses. And it gives white fairly good eye shape. Um, so I don't really recommend either of those. I think black should have been more aggressive in finding a way to cut these two white stones up, like for instance this, or for instance something gotcha. like this, um, sort of like this one. Um, so that was that local um, exchange here was actually pretty good for white, 
And then, then they had this happening in this part. This was an even exchange. And so black has played the jump. And that, that is one way to do it. Black is playing a move that is feasible. Black played here. White played Ooh, here. there's your move. Uh, black played here. It's a different move, but this one works to an extent also. Because in this case, if, um, in fact, I did show this variation, didn't I? White gets to capture a very similar one. If black cuts this here, is the runaway uh, scenario. If black right? cuts here, white is going to play here. So I did show this this, this sequence um, almost exactly the same. In this case, black black can uh, play a move on this side. Well, I guess it would be here, and, and it's not really that good shape, but black is managing to escape. So that's probably the idea that black has. Of course, there's a lot of bad odds you win white plays here. It's very very bad odds. I was just trying to read that out. For instance. I... This is going to be bad. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. So this one is it's just going to be a win for the white. Mm. Well, maybe a kind of a call. It's going to be a kind of a call. But it's, it's, it's not really that happy of... I mean for black. If white plays here, then black can push through here. And if white plays here, it's going to be a cold. But white's actually going to play on this side first, because black cannot connect. So this is actually going to be a double call. I mean, so white wins. Mm. So black would play it from, from this side. Sorry. White takes. And then black pulls back. Oh, but white white plays here once. No, white doesn't have this. And, and then it would still be a co-like position. So there's some potential there. Um, there's probably... It is troublesome for black, isn't it? When, when you thought that was black's territory. Mm -hmm. Yes, so white, at, at, the, at this point, white has pushed through here, which is the correct move. Black will cut once, and white will extend down. Yeah. And then black has to back off like this. Or we could do this one. This is this is not as good as I was showing before, but it's sort of interesting. Uh, black uh, black didn't do that, not yet. And white squeezes. And again, this is a case where black will white throws in. Black will. Stop being squeezed at this point and start making an eye on this side. This one looks pretty good, mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. And white covers, black plays on it. Once black gets an eye, it's going to be difficult for white to accomplish very much. It's going to be a seki at least. So if white plays on this side, then black will get the whole side. So this would be a success for black. It's the best variation we've seen so far. But it takes, um, it takes a very accurate um, reading assessment of the position to be able to find, um, because usually this is just just bad for black. It's, 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 it, this is the trap that white has set, mm -hmm. it's basically this squeeze that white is trying. And so the, to right fall into, into that tra trap and, step right in the trap. and have some uh, success is actually a pretty unusual thing. So black played here. And then, um, oh. then white played here, black played here, white played here, black has played here. So actually, it's maybe the best move is to, to cap go after those two stones for them. Mm. 
I scroll down on the messages? Down, yeah, all the way down. There you go. So, a, mm, I'm trying to figure out the count, but it's... If Black can scoop out that, this is going to be really big if Black can connect that's, us to this. Thing. Right. That'd be that's a, a big if it's really good for though. Black. And I'm saying that Black has uh, sacked these two stones, but they're not really dead yet. It doesn't, it's not important, but it, they're not really dead yet. Oh, so Black played the connection. And so this, this is not going to be a, as good as the diagram I was just showing. But white will capture the three stones. And black, black play it this way. There's still a whole bunch of bad odds here. What happens when white plays here? It's very bad odds. Like if black plays here, uh, white can just push through and then cut somewhere. And you can see this is, this is bad news. Black's in, sort of in trouble on the outside. If black takes, white takes. So that's bad. Mm -hmm. um, so if black plays on top, white plays here. White just gets those black stones. So that's bad. Um, if black plays an extension, that looks reasonable, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, white has a number of ways to do it, but for instance, like this, like this, and then you can see how, how well this worked. Mm -hmm. it worked. Mm -hmm. Or white could have played it from here. It would probably be just about the same thing. Man, you weren't kidding about the bad Aji, were you? Yeah, it's really it's bad just like all over there, the place. There's really no good move for white. White started with this move, which might work, but it's, it's making it easier for black, because now, when, when white played here first, this move would be met with this move, so that's bad. But this move is not met with this move. White has to play from this side. So you have to start from this side. White actually played here. This looks like it's going to be a different story. Because now if white plays here, black can cover from the top. And it doesn't work quite so well for white. Um, if white plays here, for a moment, it looks like white can connect underneath, but these three stones still on the board and are working for black. White black can cover from this side and just capture white. White can't connect all the way. Although it looks like it's a connected shape, uh, white cannot play the final connection. So then um, we would look at this. Uh, let's see, what, are, what am I going to do now? OK, this one. And then here, here. They're trying to get some extra liberties. For instance, something like this. But um, white has to find a good place to connect. Is this gonna, oh, this one actually works. So this one worked. But uh, that was because black played a lousy move here. Black had to bump against white. And then it wouldn't work. Um, the way this was working with us now is that white could crawl underneath and black didn't have any way to put white mm -hmm. on the target. Mm -hmm. um, but if black bumps against here, then when white does this, black can throw in on this side. And then just cover here. And that's dead. And mm -hmm. it doesn't make any difference if white plays this exchange, because black would be able to do the same thing. So when white starts with that move, white doesn't have any good follow-up when white starts with this move. There's no good follow-up that I can see. So white, if white starts with this move, uh, it would have just been the end of the game for black. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm exaggerating. Um, but it, it's really bad for black when white... This is maybe the, the best attempt for black to save the day. But when white plays here and then cuts, you can see that black is going to lose something. It's odd because I felt like Black really played this corner well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the play over here... Well, it would have been really, really good if Black had just fallen into the what seems to be a trap and allowed White to squeeze like this. 
and then curl hair. Because Black Ori is making an eye here. And, and I would allow Black so to make a sticky eye. It would be, yeah, it was so just too hard, hard to see, see that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so that would be allowing Black to get the whole side. That would finish the game. This is down to and black played the honey underneath. That's not the best move, but this is that's going to be good enough um, to save the day for black in that particular fight. You got Justin's in. Uh, I think Justin has three periods left. It's a tough time to be in the only. So this is the let's get back to the game position. Um, since white played the wrong order of moves here, black could have just covered from above. And it, white doesn't really have any, anything to do. Um, but black played the honey underneath. Um, oh, white's going to push through. Yeah, yeah that, that was a mistake. Aye, 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 aye. It, we're back in the bad, the bad version. <laughs> okay, so black pushes through. Uh, let's see, how is white? Well, white just cuts it. That's yeah. Not good. So that was a mistake. That was really a big mistake. Black just covered here. Nothing happens. What's happening to these guys? I I am very confused. I, I, I think well I tell you what I, I do know actually now I tell you what I think is happening is um, I think Justin's under, time. Justin's under some severe time pressure mm -hmm. and he's got a complicated situation here that I I think you're right, he miss miss I think and so he's kinda of got himself into a sticky yeah a sticky well, situation. It was, it was just too much distance here to start with. But White didn't handle it very well. It's funny because it seems natural. This seems like a natural move, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't. Well, this doesn't really. This is dangerous too because White can just jump in. Right. Um, so it's, it's just a bit too much distance, uh, and that problem would have been solved if Black had played on this sure. side. Sure, but that is that, that is just hard. The to idea say. of stopping connecting after a certain point is, is sort of counterintuitive. I yeah. Suppose. Yeah. And then White had this. Like, I, I'm surprised the, the players at this level didn't see that White had to start from this side. It's, it's supposed to be pretty obvious. But yeah, people make mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not computers. And then White, Black played. So Black's alive. White's going to um, play something on the outside. Black does have the Atari here. Uh, so it's not completely dead. Uh, white connected. Oh, sorry. This stone got off the board somehow. And black played the tar here. And white's going to play a coal. Okay. White has coal threats. So White has Kozets here. But throughout this game, the left side was sort of undecided. Right. So White does black, does have potential here to escape with more territory. Black does have a, throughout the game, Black has always, always had a kind of a potential uh, advantage in territory. So oh. white cut here is the culprit, and black covered once, and it's going to add a stone. A stone here. Yes. Oh, underneath. That is where. Like it, it's a lot better to play here because there's potential for black to be jumping out. I've so just been looking at it. Yeah. Right, look, in I'm some cases, well, not, not not that it's a big threat, but in some cases it will be. Right. This just, just takes away the own potential, um, reducing Black's own potential there. Okay, so Black needs a co threat. Black has one in the corner. Oh, already used it. Okay, so if White had played here, that would have been the last co threat. But White took. So and Black has one more. Sort of like AlphaGo giving away co threats. So. And white has, uh, let's see, white might, where is white going to try a close threat? I don't think black's going to be answering very many more. Maybe the upper right corner. 
where I could continue playing Kozets against this black group. Maybe this one. Yeah. That solves the problem that black created here. That solves, that, that's okay for black. But of course, and black had an ex, got an extra cold thread here. White actually gave a cold thread away by not connecting here. Um, so black gets an extra cold thread. And white, black will take the cold. White has a cold thread here. And so now black runs out of cold thread. So the question is, where does black play the next cold thread? Somewhere on the right side. Like this would be a good cold thread. How, how big is this cow? It's pretty big. Like after white connects here, uh, there's the honey here. Yeah. So that's the, that's added value. Um, the whole area here is going to become white's territory. If black wins the coal, there's another big move next to so save the two stones here. And even if black didn't have that save, there there would be some bad odds here. With that. This black stone here, there's the jump here, which um, just about kills that white white group. Just about, almost easily better for white not to try to escape that. So it's a it's a lot of extra value, probably at least thirty points, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. Wow! So black ignored that co threat when white played here. And he hasn't played that co thread. He hasn't needed that one. So black just made a trade here. And finished the call. And white captured this group. But this part of the black group is not 100% dead yet. So that, that's mm -hmm. this is a tar justification. It's an Atari. Yeah, yeah those stones die. Um, and black takes. White takes. So you can see that black is not yet dead. In fact, black can play here to capture the five stones. So maybe black did fairly well in this trade. Let's, let's take a look at the overall position after they finish the trade. Twenty-four, twenty-six, eight. Uh, about 32 points. Where did white play? Maybe not yet. Um, yeah, it's white's move. Mm -hmm. So if we assume white takes the five black, six black stones, and black captures the five stones, um, so white's territory there. Uh, if we count these two points as white's territory, usually you know, there's thirty-two points, and then white has some territory here. And this is going to be some white territory here. It, it could be some black territory. White has a bit more potential. So I'd say in the vicinity of 40 points, but maybe a bit more. Black already has well over 30 points here, just in this, this immediate area. Um, and then black has this, which is more like um, It's over 20 points. There's still some uncertain areas. There's over 20 points, uh, 55, and then 15 points, or the 70 points. Mm -hmm. So black has a lot of territory. In fact, throughout this game, black had a lot of territory. Mm -hmm. It just shows that this, this whole thing that happened here was really bad for white. Uh, it would have been even better for white to lose the corner by extending and to build some thickness here. So um, allowing black to curl around and squeeze white like that um, all of that was bad, and especially saving the four stones was unnecessary. Um, wow. but, and, and this, although black didn't seem to play the perfect variation, actually sacrificing these six stones to be able to capture here was a pretty good idea. In fact, white didn't allow that. Okay. So white's territory is going to be less by about 14 points. Uh, so this this is uh, instead of capturing the six stones, white jumped out here, and black is going to connect. Yes. So that's that. This is actually a very big move. 
It's 12 points of white's territory that's gone, and about 4 points difference to black territory too. So it's 16 points, almost 20 points. The, the territorial size is about the same. So white now has, in these two groups, white has about 20 points. And then this area is just sort of undecided at this point, but it's for the time being about 10 points maybe. So 30 points only. Black has um, more than 20 points here. And then more than 20 points there, that's about 50 points, almost 50 points, and 15, 65 points. So how much did I say white has? For the time being, 30 points, so it's a big difference. Uh, so white would like to be able to sort of swallow this one. If that's possible, it would be good for white. Uh, so instead of doing that white place here, uh, if black connect, yeah, black did connect, I guess. So there's going to be a fight here. Um, but actually, jumping out here and taking offensive on the right side is important too. So black would like to be able to sort of uh, do both of those things. So for instance, um, if black plays here and white plays here, it would be an option for black to just sacrifice the fourth point. Something like this. And then start an attack on the right side of the board. That would be good enough to win for black. So actually, white might just avoid that by escaping like this. But white did play on it. We have this variation. And so now it's probably the best this move for the black cutting here. That's not where his hand is moving. So black extended. So that's going to continue to attack. But the bad scenario for black is that these stones get attacked while black's escaping. Maybe white's going to be able to swallow up the right side here. And so if white gets an efficient territory here, then white could be back in the game. Wow. So black's taking a, a fairly dangerous path. And, and he's doing it in overtime. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe partly because he's in Right. Yeah, I didn't like that stone. I didn't Take like that stone. It's a, oh, it's a fat stone. Okay. Too big. And black plays here. It's hard to see. Well, this is obviously a ladder-breaking move, uh, which black didn't need to play. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's, and of course, the white group is really strong, so it's no, no, not very much added value. You know, I had this feeling He was worried about the cut, but when white cuts black and just push here once and get a get up. A net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it, no, no issue. But this move is played to, to stop the cut by making it a ladder shape. But since black could, could be, was able to capture that stone anyway, it wasn't an issue. It wasn't necessary. So it's a strange move. White doesn't need to answer it. Oh, white played on this. This is reasonable. Playing on this set makes makes sense. And you see, black is getting in into trouble a little. Oh uh, yeah, being attacked in the center. Um, oh no, black played from this side. That's not good either. And black's not gaining any territory by saving these four stones because white will later be able to save the right side. So it would have been, even if we just look at territory, it would have been better for black to do this. And white has to stop at this point. Like even if white plays here, white still has only about three liberties. It would just be bad, like black would find this side. If white plays the cut and then does that, then again black can push here and get this one stone and get up. So there's no p potential for white there. White has to back off and play here, after which black can play this important so blacks gain something like 10 points on the side, by that's an even trade already. Right. And black gets extra stuff on this side to put pressure on all these white stones. Um, so it would have been um, like hundreds of percents better just to cut Hundreds here. of percents? Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's my feeling. Um, and then again, black should be playing from the center group instead of playing from this side. So this is, um, although black did reasonably well on the on the left side here, black is sort of getting into dangerous waters here. So what is he trying to do? Now, now he's realized that he has no, 
it's not worth it to try to save those four stones, so he's trying to sacrifice them. That's the right direction. White was a bit too, um, uh, doing too much. White should have just added a stone to this side um, to keep this black stone disconnected with these black mm -hmm, stones. Mm -hmm. uh, but when white does this, white's potentially gaining territory. Uh, sorry, this one. Uh, but it's just, um, it would have been better to attack the whole black group. So with this, black has some potential to connect up to this stone. But, uh, I don't think white really wants to go after these four stones anyway, so, so not so big. So white did this way. I know he's playing some of the moves from the wrong direction. So it's, the way black is handling this is a little bit worried. Black would probably want to play something like this. Mm. Mm. But you can see these stones are gradually getting connected. No, oh, yeah, no, this is oh, actually... Oh, black played here. That's a big move, but, you know, I sort of question playing it now. Uh, white's going to play something on the outside. But uh, curling around here is a very, very big move. It's, it does make a big difference to black's territory. So I, I think that's, I, I, I think that's justifiable. I think it's okay, actually. Yeah. White cuts. Well, this is okay for black, because black gets to play this forcing move anyway. So that was a bad move by white. White should be cutting this zone out here. So it's very uh, maybe interesting, because they, they seem to be sort of trading, trading mistakes. mistakes. Yeah, early. This was, this was uh, actually a very good exchange for black. Black gets to force oh, really, this. Yeah, oh, this is wow. really... Uh, black's not, black really wants to fight here. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, no, 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 no. Well, this is exciting. Um, Black's going to die in the center probably, but that's <laughs> exciting. That's excited. Yeah. And white is in danger on the right side of the board. So, so they're both in danger. And the idea here that black has is that white is in a, a lack of liberties here. So I can play this squeeze and play this Atari. And white's moves in the center are very limited. So white has to continue extending. Um, and black can have a very forceful sequence that seems to put these white stones in danger. Um, in the process, all of these black stones in the center are going to die. But if black can pull this off and get a good attack here, then uh, maybe that's going to be good enough. Like if we have white play here, um, then the obvious move would be to yeah. keep here. Yeah. Um, and it looks like it's, this is how the game is progressing. It looks like it could work, actually, for black. And, and black didn't actually play this exchange. It's better not to have it on the board because um, it's better Raji for black to later play here, maybe after white's finished all, all these extending moves. And these these three stones, this squeeze here is going to be sent to just about whenever black plays it. It involves all these dead black stones so it would bring them all to, to life if white did not answer that. Black really needs to push once more to make it good shape. But the hasty attacker would be thinking of this kind of thing too. It's just a, it's just such bad shape when white curls are. Right. So I would suggest it's better for black to push mm -hmm, once more. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he did. And white switched to the right side. So if white plays um, something like this and something like this, white's going to be alive, I think. Uh, this way. This way is alive. Maybe one Atari here. This would be alive. Yeah. But then black would be from the hunting here. That's a big hunter too. And again, white only has three liberties left. Because you have to remember that this exchange. Right. So already white has to do something to avoid losing this in there. And um, so black's going to have a potential attack 
I don't know how black someone will do that. Maybe just connect. In which case, maybe not. Well, that's, that's, that's a difficult choice. Mm. But you can see that these white stones are in danger too. So black is getting a sequence of attacks and maybe is going to lose the center group, but we don't really know for, for sure. We can't just, we can't just white just... The four stones, white wants to take all of these stones. Right. As many as possible. But black there's, does there's have like potential for, still has potential for squeezing. Uh, okay. So black is, does have potential to save those stones, depending on how this fight on the right turns out. So it looks like now, um, pushing here, was, I didn't think of it, but it is a very forcing, forceful move. And the game white is extended once and played this move, which looks sort of good, but it's actually bad. Uh, because, let's see, let's see, how does black go about this? Um, for instance, black could play here and here. And if we ignore the fact that black's not out, black can get out by playing moves like this anyway. So if we assume black's out, white's not really alive here, because if white plays this one, black can play underneath here. Oh no, play here first. And uh, black, white doesn't have two whites. This is a full side. Um, if white and white cannot make an eye there on the side, so it's just dead. So actually, it was much better shape for white to play this and then play the the kosumi on this mm -hmm. side. This, mm -hmm. this is actually bad suji because in in this case again, black can play here and here. And if we just look at it locally, white doesn't have enough room to to live. Like if we add a white stone here and we have this position, we can see it's only seven stones on the side of the line. When it's seven stones, the player who plays first wins. Right. So white played a Kosumi on the wrong on the wrong point. But before going after that, it's probably wise for black to, to strengthen black's group in the center towards the center. And not necessarily play this exchange. Mm. So that's what we see happening. I guess white jumped here. I think a lot of oh wow, they're really fast now. Mm -hmm. Could you show well, me the here? Yeah, they're both in uh, pretty serious overtime. Yeah, looks like kind of a weird exchange. I guess black played some kind of a penguin connection here. So let me just uh, double check in there. Oh, that's that. More moves. It's not far enough. Sorry, not doing my job. My bad. Go right. back to do a hanging connection. Go hanging ahead, connection. Go ahead. Hane, uh, three more moves. Push. Yeah. Peep. And white peeped. There. And there. Attach. Hane. Push. Cover. Peep. Push. There. There. Yeah, so this is a little bit sloppy by black. Uh, but there's still the problem with white's life on the other side. Right, connect. Um, connect, push through, and then black push through. Push, push, push. Yeah. Cover. That's it. That's it. And you see, this is a rare case in which um, we're, I'm not sure that that squeeze there is going to be in time. Can you go back and kill them? Well, white probably has to play here, actually. Yeah. So white can capture three stones. White does have a one move advantage. Yeah. White has a one move. And black can play here. Uh, white can maybe start a co here, or play a hundred ones. Um, but again, the problem is that these these three stones are not alive yet. They're just dead. They're dead, so it's bad for white. So, so I just trying to work it out. I just don't see. I, I don't see anything. It's dead. 
but uh, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Well said. <laughs> you said that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Black is still trying to make it. Uh, I want to give us a little uh, Joel. Just give me a little mouse mouse movement here or something. Thank you. So black is, um, you have to remember this white group is not 100% white either. So black is trying to create some kind of a counterattack there. But it's really, it's not that meaningful. Like, um, killing this group is a lot easier. I just suppose it's not, it, uh, not doing that. What could be more important than, or more urgent than... Well, uh, connecting in the center would work at this point also, because black has a lead in territory. Like white has about 30 points in the upper left area, and then not much to speak of elsewhere. So somewhere in the vicinity of 40 points for white. Mm -hmm. And so black has enough just in these two big areas here. And yeah, this. So, we got so black, some territory here. So black has a small lead in territory. Um, but uh, so all right. So black is black's idea here is to try to connect up to the side, but he has this weakness here, which makes it um, an, a counterattack against the white group is pretty unlikely. White place area. Yeah. Yes, so, and white black it, protected. It, yeah. So, so white can easily live. Um, right. But again, it, it's gonna um, it, it, that white group. One of these two white groups is gonna be in trouble. So it's still a very difficult fight for white. White can play once here, maybe. But white's, white's going to lose this center. Yeah, so black plays here. So this would be alive. But this is still dead. Oh, that's another one of your stones. Big stone. Yeah. Well, it's not as bad as stone. Okay. That still works, right? Still works. Still kills it. So there's no way for white to live with both groups. It's still, it's still a difficult fight for white. So you have to choose which one will die. Mm -hmm. So white, yeah, black did it that way. White played here. And then black keeps here. That's not bad. If white connects underneath, black can cut here. White needs some kind of protection. And then black can connect underneath. So that would kill the, these stones. I'm thinking that's probably big enough. Yeah. So if white plays the connection here, let's see if black is trying to think of something fancy. Uh, it's probably correct for black to just it's come just down. Sad, anyway. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And white has to, oh, he played the honey. That just fills one of his own liberties. That's stupid. Uh, I shouldn't <laughs> say it that way. <laughs> You should just say what you really think, Mike. Why, why is going to play here anyway? It's better not to play that extent. Right, because there you go. We're expecting... We're ex oh, that's another... Ex <laughs> I don't understand this move by white. Um, at this point, black sort of has a choice of which which group he wants to kill. Yeah, this one. That, that's the easy one. Good choice. Now, now this one, it's going to be something... It looks sort of like it might be a five stone nakade. Dead um, shape. It's a dead shape. But it's also, it's different from the five stone nakade, because when black plays here, it's only four stones. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's yeah. Just, so it's, it's, it's something it's, it's like, it's, it's an easier one. Six, six liberties inside. Um, so it's like this and like this. White has six liberties inside. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, look at this black group. It, it already has seven liberties just here. So at least four, five, six over there. So 13, that's a three move win. A lot of extra liberties for black. So that, that's just not working for white. So white played this side. 
my plate. It's the same story, more or less the same story. This is just really bad news for White. Yeah, White is. Uh... White would like to have something here. Actually, this way White might actually get to the uh, five stone knockout this year. But it's probably not going to be enough anyway. Like at this point, White um, White has seven moves. Sorry. S uh, seven moves. No, it's only six moves inside. So it's about ten moves anyways. It's not a big difference. So White connected here. And in this case, White Black can just play an Atari here. It's, it, it gives Black a safe shape um, and a big advantage in the fight. Oh, our um, operator made a mistake apparently, and I just found it. So, so it's a completely different shape because when White played here, Black did not cover. And you can see that our KGS thing still has it that way. But Black actually answered this move down here. Look at, oh. look at the TV screen. The camera has the correct uh, position. So it's a completely different position. So it's not that good for Black. Uh, but this is still something like 12 moves. And now, now Black has Sente and can add a stone to the center. Oh, this Switched way? It, yeah. yeah. And so now the sender has um, five, six, seven. Um, well, after white plays it, this move, black will still have six, six liberties in this area. And black has seven liberties here. So that's uh, 13 liberties, about 13 liberties. And it's black's mm -hmm. turn to do play. So white has six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So black has about three extra liberties, and there's a co co position here. So it's gonna it's gonna be a co a step co favoring black. Maybe a two step co. So a step co is when uh, for one side it that side can immediately finish the co, but the other side has to play approach moves. For, so for, uh, so white uh, filled the liberty. Keith, Keith is apologizing for messing that up. Yeah. Well, that was, it's far in the past. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but yeah. So white played here. White's actually playing this move. It doesn't actually change. Anything. This fills the liberty, but actually white also has had the necessity of trying to get rid of black's eye shape. T connect. Um, because when we look at it closely, black seems to have an eye in this. Hey, so let's go from super, super dead to dead. Again, it's, and now, now we're into... Uh, um, uh, Princess Bride, right? All, all dead. So Black has Mostly 14 dead, liberties. Mostly dead, it's not the same, but it's completely dead. Okay, Black played this one. Um, Black has about 14 liberties. Maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, 14. They're really going to play it out? Well, there's a co here. It, it's going to be a co. It's going to okay. be a step co. Um, and white has nine liberties left, so it's, it's a big difference. Connect. That's a lot of steps. It's a lot of That's steps. Lot it's of way steps. too many steps way for white to steps. catch up. And so to clarify the number of moves for black, Let's just assume a random exchange here. Um, white. White plate there. Okay. Might as well do it. Yeah, let's so, just follow so that. So we'll good. connect for black, and we'll have this and this, and we can count the liberties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen liberties. It's black's turn. Right. This is like this. Plus white. One, we'll two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, so like three, three, three liberties. Yeah, three extra liberties. Won't white have to capture the uh, stones at K sixteen also. 
Um, uh, yeah, at some point, why well, we'll have to do that too. It's right here. It's because of the dummies, Murray. So more, it's more than that. Yeah. So it's black, more black, more is, black has actually played that speech. Uh It's because uh, white has a shortage of liberties here. Uh, white can't just go and fill black's liberties, but white has to capture her first. So like it's going to be like this, and you you think black has only one liberty left, but black plays here, of course, is white to play here. Black actually has two liberties here. So that's an extra liberty. Uh, and they're just playing very quickly now. Why don't we just watch on their screen? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's, uh, um, let's, let's go into the room. Mm -hmm. Because it's moving very quickly, and um, it's a pretty hopeless fight to capture for white. But uh, he's going to keep on playing it to the end. And there is a co involved. So okay. they're going to be fighting the co in the end of this fight. Uh, let's see. At this point, white, black has. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Black still has eleven liberties. And white has more like seven. Yeah, so that makes sense. It's, yeah, it's about four. Well, folks, I hope uh is this exciting enough for you? Maybe only six, yeah. So now white has only five. So it's a big win for black. And just to check the territory. I guess. Yeah. Well, he never he never resigns. He never resigns. Uh huh. Not well, happening not this time. Well, just because. Well, black has about a hundred points when he wins this call, and white has something like forty points, so it's a big difference. Uh, you, you might the notice 60 points there's an interesting point. We could get our go, go board back and uh, point out something that's happening sure. in the upper right okay. corner. And it's irrelevant. It's but, irrelevant? Um, it's irrelevant, but if, kind of, black, if white of? plays here, white gets to capture some stumps and black stones in the upper right. And that was caused by the fact that black played that squeeze there. Uh, some stones. Making so this, three stones. these three stones. Because three black stones. has to answer on Six this points. side. So instead of 60, instead of a... Oh, this is, it's more like a 20-point move because it's destroying the black territory. And you said that... Black had, point. black was winning by about 40 points. 40 points. Yeah, so it's not relevant. Well, minus 20. Well, maybe more than 40 points. Me. No, no, it doesn't help anymore. <laughs> Actually, I was wrong. Right? Black's winning by more like 50, 60 points. I think you, I thought you said 60. Yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah I must have meant 60. Oh. So it's hopeless. Uh, but you're still playing, so we can go back to the, uh, the game room. Uh, looks like uh, it looks like they finished. Looks like a looks like they finished. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do we have a? Uh... Okay. I know the game is over. I just don't have an official uh, announcement from from uh, Yeah, I'm sort of jet lagged. Yeah, they're saying I look tired. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, he had a long flight from uh, from Japan. So we'll get him some more coffee before the next round. Right. Me too. Um, yeah, plus yeah, we have been on air for mm -hmm. like several hours. Several hours. Yeah. It's like something like that. So one more round. Uno mas. Uno mas. So uh yeah. Whew. That was some serious counting at the end there. So I I mean any and this is one of these games where it's just they kept swapping mistakes, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um and I guess in the end, I think uh, Shimbo uh, mm. just kind of fell apart. Well, it was too much to hold. Like both of White's groups were in danger. Yeah. So it, it was just the the good move that Black White played was pushing out from here and cutting off this White group uh, with the and getting something back already in the center. And White messed up by living not living in the wrong way. Um, but it was even without that, it was getting difficult for white because white only had this thirty points here, 
and everything else. If, if we if black gets to connect up to the center like this, um, that's definitely not going to be enough white territory. So there are a number of scenarios in which black could win after black pushed out through here. Mm -hmm. And so there's it, it was when the game began to look hopeful for black. Right. Black was playing some questionable moves before that, so it was dangerous. Um, but this is where the game started to look good for black. But I think the, uh, if we just go back, if you would, to uh, this situation, at the very beginning, I think the really useful lesson for you know, the us mm -hmm. amateurs, yeah. Um, well, this, the left side here is really is still a very complicated position. But when white has pushed here, and black has added the stone to this side, um, what happens in this area is it's, it's going to be good for black already. Like black's going to capture either these four stones or this one stone anyway. Mm -hmm. And so it's pretty much settled there already. And so it's pretty pointless for white to try to save those four stones. And the ones move that white absolutely has to play anyway. Well, um, maybe cutting here would have worked. Uh, this kind of thing is also something that white could have considered. Um, making for a squeeze or to capture the two stones underneath. That would be a different way to play. Um, and, it, and if Black did something like the actual game, this would be filling one extra liberty. Mm -hmm, so this mm -hmm. was actually something I was considering. But White has to stop Black from pushing through here. Sure. And that's the basic truth. And so, for instance, playing here would be a move that would be reasonable. Mm -hmm. And as we saw, it, it's, it's not so easy for Black to kill that corner. And in the game, Black really messed it up there. Yeah, um, just so, the, the, the position. Well, yeah. that was a site. So there, I think there are two mm -hmm. two things that are just re worth reviewing here. One is the decision by White to save these stones, which, which is bad. just a really First bad instance, decision. For instance, in some cases, White would be saving this side, mm -hmm. making some eye shape, and giving these four sure. stones to Black. That would sometimes be a lot better. Right. And then the second thing, if just to show folks here again, uh, uh, we don't want to run out the whole thing, but in this situation, this was where black could have sort of This is where black side. has to yeah. play here, and instead... Yeah, obviously a mistake when black ends right. up playing away at this point. Right. Yeah. With, with, but it was that, it was that um, stone So these were sort of, it's kind of a nice game because yeah. it shows both players making, making mm, pretty, yeah. pretty significant blunders. Yeah, it's uh, sort of surprising. They're both very strong Both players. very strong, very strong. Yeah. I mean, and, so, and, and if yeah. you look at the rest of the game, yeah. really... Entertaining game, lots of fighting, mm -hmm. but I, I say the same thing happened throughout the game that mm -hmm. one person would kind of make a blunder, the other person would recover, and then they sort mm -hmm. of swap off. So, uh, but hey, that's mm -hmm. that's amateur play for you. Yeah. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Michael. Yeah. Appreciate it. And did you it. get a, a um, official result for the game? Uh, they are very static, like they were just oh. sitting there. So I was oh. there might be some kind of a dispute. Oh, you are completely right. Um, so, there was a situation, as Keith says, an illegal move was played. Finger did not leave, but it was played. Under AJ rules, this may be a penalty, not a forefoot. We are checking. Okay. So, I don't think it's going to change. It shouldn't change. If it's a penalty, then it probably won't change the result. Uh, if it's a forfeit, of course, it could. I don't Who think, I don't, as I recall, I don't think it's a forfeit for that. Okay. But I could be. Like huh? It was weird, uh, like they took a stone off the board and now it looks like they're continuing it. So I think uh, you. That was a stone that they placed, uh, I think. Uh, oh, would well, this make a difference actually? So as I recall, what happens is you make an illegal move and you have to. Uh, what? Just staring. Well, no, I, I think what happens is that you you have to take the legal moves that's taken off the board, and your basically your opponent gets two moves. Uh huh. That, is, but is, I don't think that that's going to change. Uh, not unless the there was some enough. dangerous move that was played before that. It doesn't look like there was. Right. So we might have to wait to see what happens with this. Right. So hold, hold on to, uh, hold on to your socks for a sec, folks. Let me see if I can get some clarification, get some more information from Keith. But Keith is, I think, trying to fix things. Um, Battle Killer wants to know what the illegal move was. I don't know the answer to that. 
sure looks like they went back to flying. I don't see any moves being made. Dispute. I heard something about a co. Uh, did we take the co? Well, I think Jeff Jeff said that Justin took the co twice. Ah, that's okay. So they're deliberating whether or not that happened. Right. So Alonzo, you may be right about that. Uh, we may have re retaken that. that can now they're sometimes. starting to play. Now they're starting to play. Looks um, like so they might they might have made a ruling. Do you guys know what happened? No. What happened? So. Uh, Justin put down a stone right. in the co, which was an illegal move. Mm -hmm. He retook the co twice. So Without that had to be back. taken back. He takes the back. NBA ruling is that counts as a pass, so he had to give his opponent a pass stone, and the game continues. Oh, okay. so the other so his opponent didn't get two moves, he just oh, got yeah. a point. He got a pass. Mm -hmm. that's well, Jeff's two moves in a row is not going to change the but anyway, results of the that's that's Gotcha. What I understand. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it was just a, it turned into a pass move, but like it was a, an approach move co anyway, so it's, it's still bad for white. So, lesson is be careful where you put your stones. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> seriously. Yeah. But it, that, I told that, you he never resigns. Uh -huh. 60 moves, no problem. He'll, he'll try to find some semi eye in like the most hopeless any position. You know, like you'll see when he's like four stones behind, he'll get to like one stone behind somehow. You're like, wow. Okay. Interesting. Black yeah. has eight moves left. White has um, five. Yeah, I don't know whether to respect that or or to be appalled by that, or maybe both. Mm -hmm. So, do you have uh, stories of uh, pros who did uh... illegal moves? Yeah. Oh yeah, um, it happens. Um, in my personal experience, no, it wasn't an illegal move. I think someone I, I've seen a number of pros uh, take back a call when it wasn't allowed. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that that's happens. a, a, a gets, common mistake. Yeah. Especially when you're short on time and you're mm -hmm. you're looking ahead at sequences and you forget that mm -hmm. you. I mean, it's sort of like the other thing that I've seen is uh, this is not a illegal move, but um, you're reading out a complicated sequence in the end game and then you forget where your opponent played and maybe it was a forcing move, but you mm -hmm. well, forget that, that, your that's not necessarily a new, uh, no no no. I'm saying it's not an illegal move. Yeah. It's just a mistake yeah. because you forgot where you were. It's like oh, there was a, an Atari or. Mm -hmm. a, peep or yeah. something and you play somewhere else because you got out of sequence. Mm -hmm. that, that famous it's story. It's a pity right? the game record on KGS is just not going to, it's, it's not getting any more correct than it was before. Well, you can't. <laughs> it, it's impossible for him it's, to correct it's it. Yeah. yeah, it's impossible to correct mm -hmm. uh, in that. There was just another mistake though. It's, it's oh, he made a second mistake? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's missing the cutting the cut here on the fourth line. Oh um, dear. Which happened before. Right. Uh, so it's, um, it's just getting, well, it's such a complicated game, it's just sort of beyond the record tape, I'm pretty sure. Well, and also, Keith is not an experienced um, game recorder. Um, this is, I mean, I just need to, and this is something that we'll do now is, um, you know, now that we're going to be doing more of these broadcasts here at the Ghost Center. We'll develop and train more game recorders. Um, 
because it, it's it's both I wouldn't say it's easy. It's it's not that hard to do. Um, but the thing is, you have to you have to really be able to pay attention and get the moves down because if you get it wrong, it's very tricky uh, to try and fix it. Um, I've, I've talked to the people at KGS about because it'd be really cool if you could just drag and drop a move, you know, so that when you make a mistake, then you can mm -hmm. just drag it. Yeah. Ooh, there goes there goes the white stone. He still had several moves, but you can support. He's giving up three stones um, in the center of the board. That's just about ten points. It's not not that important. Well, that clarifies things. Mm -hmm. That's what going to finish the game. Thank you, Joel. See you. See you. Uh, let me just check something. <laughs> KGS thinks that Black is ahead by 78.5 points. That That's seems right. that seems off. By Something some. really weird about this. Uh, uh, the counting is weird, well, right? The the diagram is not correct either, so it's it's difficult. <coughs> it's, there's some mistakes in the diagram, too. Uh, but it's not that big. But black it does have a, a clear substantial lead. lead. It's strange that it was wrong in the last game also. And it was last was ahead by thirteen points before coming. Yeah, score estimator has always been pretty funky in uh, KGS. So this is a question actually. I mean, I was taught that even even an amateur go that you know, certainly at this level, these guys know how to count. You mm -hmm. know, and there's you know, and the fighting spirit is fine in the middle of the game, later in the game. But I mean, at this point, when there's you know zero chance, mm -hmm. that just seems very strange. Yeah, well, it's, um, you could call it strange, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, people feel have different opinions about this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's interesting because, again, in tennis, you, um, you know, even if you're down, you know, 06, 06. Well, each it, point is a different, different. Uh, you don't keep playing in tennis because you think your opponent might suddenly have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's a little bit different. It's actually sort of in completely the reverse, like in Go, like if there is no other way to win, the honorable thing to do traditionally is mm -hmm. to resign. But in tennis, it's actually, uh, if you, it's called tanking. Mm -hmm. Where you just sort of give, you keep playing, but you're not really trying. You don't run mm -hmm. after everything. You just you just let the game go. Mm -hmm. It's actually considered pretty dishonorable to do that, mm -hmm. um, because. But that's largely because it's considered entertainment, mm -hmm. and so the audience is there to see you try your best. Yeah, and so. Um, 
uh, you know, to, to a certain extent, you know, Go is this, you know, you talked about this last night, you know, hand talk between these two players. Yeah. So it's a very intensely personal thing for each player, but you're also, uh, they're playing this and people are watching. So there is, there is that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I certainly would take that, take that into consideration if I were on board, <laughs> which will never happen. So I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I think in one of our smaller tournaments, I actually played Jeff on board one. In time, we played four stones. So you did well. All right. Yeah. So it, that's right. And as you actually, uh, we're lo losing the monitor. You're losing the monitor. Yeah. Uh, we need to turn off to whatever the thing is. It automatically oh, right. is shutting yeah, it exactly. down. Yeah. Um, but no, Nathan raises a good point. That is true. That in a smaller tournament, uh, it would have to be pretty darn small. Um, you mean this? No, no, just the prompter. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in, in one of your smaller tournaments, you know, that it is, you know, all kinds of people can get to board one, yeah. um, but in a tournament like this, you're, well, you can, you can be maybe, mm -hmm. we've got what, we've got a five gun, yeah, you can see a four gun getting to board one. Depends on the pairings. Hey, you know, Gurji could put you on board one, you ask him nicely. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's been shuffling it around a bit, actually. He has. Yeah, so we already we already got the pairings for the next round, um, but it, it, they might redo it if Jeff wins this game, though. or if Shingo wins the game. His like his uh, like Western style name is Jeff, so there's like two two Jeffs. But I have an easier time pronouncing Jeff, so I just live with the Jeff confusion. Gotcha. Uh, talking of... Um, Illegal moves. I, I, some, an unusual one would be to uh, fail to take a stone off the board when you captured it. That has been Does that done. It has been done. And then there's the uh, more extreme one of um, taking off a stone. That's taking not captured. It, it, it before you one move before you capture it. That happens. Yes, yeah. that's happened. I've seen that happen. And you are, uh, wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> So when that happens, you say, um, that stone it's not, you can't take that stone off. Right, right. It's a, it's a... Because again, it's sort of a mental thing. It's sort of, sort of, mm -hmm. sort of Yeah, yeah. You, you're sort of sometimes imagining the Atari. It's the pre-Atari. Yeah. So white... Uh, oh, They're right. finishing the game. Though. Right. There are only a few moves to the end of the game. I think actually it's the one that, I think white is the one that has less time. I actually have had folks <laughs> online, you know, just do things like, you know, put massive groups in Atari accidentally. Mm -hmm. It is, so black has one very large territory. I'm trying to get a sense of where No, it's lower going. left, too. Yeah. Lower left is big. And white just has the upper left area. It uh, adds up to. Yeah, other, other than the upper left, it's just, uh, what, 10 over on the right. So white has about 46. Six. Yeah, and so that, that big um, block of white stones that was taken off the board, um, black virtually black has enough territory for that. Right. So it's, That's so right. it's, um, that, it's, it's that, that big block of right. white captured stones plus a little bit. I think white may have some captures left over after he uh, fills in all of white's territory. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that could happen. 
that's the case, I should see if they're going to do pairings again. Sure. Well, it's. Um, well, actually, because we're going to wrap up in just a second here. As soon as we get an official, yeah, yeah. we'll we'll watch and it, then, and then we'll 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 uh, so hang with us just for a minute, folks. We'll get the official ruling here. They're counting now. <laughs> I want to watch this. Predicting there will be white captures left. I mean, according to KGS, white's got like 32 captures. It's going to be very close. I, I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised they're counting. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, you do this to me, we're counting. <laughs> you, you're gonna take it all the way. What's he doing? He he, he started uh, he started oh. taking stones off the board before they actually counted. I don't know if they actually got a count there. It would seem that they stopped. You know. It was about 50 points. Oh, 37.5. Is that, what is that? Yeah. That's the official answer? That's the official answer, 37.5. Didn't he have any white stones left over? Captured stones? Okay, all right. Are we uh, I think we're done. We're going to go on to the fourth round. Thanks for watching. We will be back uh, very shortly with the fourth and final round, and we will give a report. I, I don't know who's in the lead at this point. I think. It's probably Jeff. He's 3 0, I think. Is he 3 0? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Um, I wonder if they do a rematch. No, they would do a rematch with him to do one. I wonder if it would. Well, I'm going to check the parents. We're going to check. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You know, you're wrong. Um, no, Justin. Justin, Justin won. Justin won this last game. Oh, Justin was playing black. Yeah, Justin was playing oh. No, Justin was playing white. Black. I, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Justin was playing black. Justin killed the big white group. Oh, right. I see. Exactly. So, hold on one sec. So. Are we, are we, are we no white captures are we left. Are we finished here? Did they? No, no. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, so we don't know who is leading because I think a bunch of different people have won. So we will have a report before the beginning of the next round, and we'll be right back. So, thanks for watching.